Today, we're going to take a break from our prayers of petition and proclamation, and instead, lift up prayers of thanksgiving. Paul said to Timothy in chapter 2, verse 1, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. First, meaning before we do anything else. So today, in our morning prayers, and throughout the day, let us make it a point to give thanks and to praise Him. Because praise is probably one of the greatest weapons of our warfare. It brings breakthrough. While giving of thanks shows faith for what's to come and gratitude for what's already been done. So let us take some time today, right now in our morning reflections, but also throughout the day, to count our blessings, to meditate on God's faithfulness, and to thank Him for the precious blood of Jesus and for the victories that have and are still to come from it. He truly is so good to us. He is so faithful. Focusing on this truth, soaking and meditating on His love and being grateful for it helps to remind us of how powerful it really is and has been to us. And it also helps to remind us to show it to others who need to experience it. Let us have a short scripture reading in First Peter chapter 1, verse 18, where Peter reminds us throughout this very amazing chapter of all that we have to be thankful for in Christ Jesus. He says, For as much as ye know that you were not redeemed, with corruptible things, as with silver and gold, from your vain conversations, received by tradition from your fathers, but rather with the precious blood of Jesus Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily was foreordained to be your sacrifice before the very foundations of the world were laid but yet was manifested in these last days for you, who by him do believe in God, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God, seeing then that ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the power of the Holy Spirit unto unfeigned love, of the brethren. See then that therefore ye love one another with a pure heart, fervently, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. So let us pray. We thank you, Lord, today for your blood, for the precious blood of Jesus, for all that you have done for us, that you were willing to suffer in order to save us. We know that you did not have to do it, but that you did it because you love us. So we thank you today and are reminded that scripture says that we love you because you first loved us, and that if we love you, we will keep your commandments. So that when we take time to reflect on your goodness, it helps us to grow in love, which helps us to be empowered to obedience. So we meditate on this. We take time to remember and to be thankful for it. We thank you for every sacrifice that you made for us, and also for every person from whom your sacrificial love has come through to touch us when we needed you, for all the miracles that you are yet to do, for all the prayers that you have answered, for all the times that you have been there when we needed you. We don't want to be selfish or unloving towards you. We want to be there for you, too. 
to trust you enough to obey you, to take time to worship, to praise, and to thank you. To recognize that we are nothing without you, but that with you, all things are possible. And that everything that we need can be found in the presence of our King. We thank you that everything that you have done proves this, that we can have confidence in your love and that it will help us to stand and to demonstrate and to be a reflection of it in the days to come. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. This program was brought to you by HOWC Media Ministries. For more messages like this or information about our ministry, please visit us online at heartofworshipchurch.com.